Hello Internet, I am Mihai. It is part 15. I want to install Node Modules packages. Open Pipeline Shared Library Repository. It is it. Open with IntelliJ or other IDE you have, it doesn't matter. Good. I want to create a new file. Go to Project. In the VARS folder, create a new file, new, file, and write the name. Install dependencies. Dot groovy. Add the file to git. And it is the file. Let's start writing. Create the call method public void call open the body and call the private method underscore npm install now create that method it is private void underscore npm install open the body and write call the shell executor Create the script. It is npm ci and create the label. It is install npm dependencies. Very good. It is possible that npm ci will not work. In that case, you have to use npm install. I will write a comment so that you remember it. If npm ci doesn't work, use npm install. It's all I wanted to create. Let's commit. Check the changes. I created a new file and I added the code. Apply the change and write the commit message created. Copy the file name. I don't want to write it. Script. New line. Install dependencies. Very good. Commit and push. Commit anyway. I want to push one commit. Push. Well done. Now I want to create a new stage in the Jenkins file. Open the pipeline repository. It is pipeline. Open it with IntelliJ. Good. And now create a new stage. Zoom in. Write stage. Stage name is install dependencies. The same as on the diagram, it is it. Open the body and I want to set the timeout for 5 minutes. Scroll up, copy these options from the clone project repository stage and paste it in your new stage. The timeout is 3 minutes. Create the steps and the script block. Good. And I want to call the install dependencies method. Go to shared library repository. Copy the method name. I copied it. Go to the Jenkins file. And passed. Open parentheses to call the method. And it's all. I know the install dependencies method will install all necessary packages. So I want to see the workspace files and folders before I install dependencies and after I installed dependencies. I write sh to call the shell. I write ls to list all files and folders in the workspace, dash l to create a table view, and a to show hidden files. Put a comment to do remove after debug. Copy this command and paste it after you install all dependencies. Additionally, I know the install dependencies will install all packages in the node modules folder. I want to print the content of that folder. 
It is all I wanted to write. Let's commit. Go to git changes. Check the changes. I have one inactive change. I created a new stage. Apply it. And write the commit message. Create it. Install dependencies. Stage. New line. Install dependencies. Commit. Commit anyway. I want to modify the timestamps. Open Jenkins logs. Open your browser. It is Jenkins main page. Open pipeline folder. Open the pipeline. Open the last logs. And you see the timestamp is printed in every line. Every, every line has the timestamp. I want to modify it. Go to Jenkins dashboard, manage Jenkins, configure system, search for timestamp. It is it, the timestamper, and disable it for all pipeline builds. Very good. Save. Now open the Jenkins file. Scroll up to the global options. Here write timestamps and parentheses. That's all. Check git changes. I added the new line. Apply and write the commit message. Edit timestamps option. New line install dependencies. Commit and push. Push to commits. Push. I want to run the pipeline. Go to Jenkins. Go to the pipeline. Click build with parameters. The branch is main. And build. Wait. I see the install dependency stage took three seconds. If I click logs, I can see the install npm dependencies label. It is taken from here, install npm dependencies. It is the same thing. See? Okay, close this thing. Refresh the page. Click on the circle to open the logs. And the timestamps are gone. They are not shown in each line. Scroll down. And here I have the timestamps. So the timestamps will be printed only next to the methods explicitly called in the Jenkins file. Scroll down. Here I entered the install dependency stage. The timeout was set for three minutes. I printed the content of the workspace. It is the content. I don't have node modules folder. I call the npm ci, it installed 156 packages, scroll down, I list the workspace again and here I have the node modules folder. I know it is a folder because I have the letter D here. Scroll down and I print the node modules folder content. It has a lot of folders. And it is all. In the post actions, the pipeline cleaned the workspace and the status is success. Go to Jenkins file. Remove the debug logs. Write the commit message, removed debug logs. Check the changes, of course. I removed the debug logs. Commit and push. Push. In the next videos, I will return to the logs where I printed the node modules content. So go to Jenkins pipeline. I want to make a note about these logs. Scroll up. See edit build information. Click on it and write the description. Node modules content. Save. 
here is the description and when I go to the pipeline dashboard I also see here the description that's all with Jenkins open the diagram select install dependencies make it white and it is all now the pipeline installs project dependencies thank you for watching